the person who brought you in to the political world, and that was, as you mentioned, the protests in 2011, Oleg Kashin, and you spoke very eloquently at the protest there. He's now say saying that Putin sees no glory in defeating the usual run of puppet buffoons. That's why the Kremlin seeks fresh faces each time. The fresh face this time will be Miss Sobchak. So I, I know that you don't like that, but I guess part of it is to ask you, um, do you... Do you, do you have any real chance of going against Putin? Well, first of all, thank you for the compliment about the fresh face, because I really think that Russia needs a young face, a new generation uh, to be seen on, on the political stage. But answering your question, I think I can really make people go and vote against the system voting for Xenia Sobchak. So this is my idea. My idea to unite all the democratic forces with all the people with whom I worked and whom I supported all those years, uh, including Navalny, including Yevlinsky and other democratic leaders, my idea is to make a huge democratic coalition and that people go and legitimately vote against the system, against Putin, and therefore we will see the result that I hope will be quite big and that will be a change to the whole political system. Because so, one thing, if they see that there is couple of percent, and another thing, if they see that millions of people voted against Putin in this democratic uh, opposition way. So you mentioned Alexei Navalny, who is drawing lots of people at rallies, but who looks like he will be prevented from running for all sorts of technical reasons that you know better than anybody. He has said that it is fairly loathsome Kremlin game that goes by the title of let's put a liberal laughing stock up for the elections in order to distract attention. I mean, this is a lot of criticism you're facing. And you have said that you would withdraw your candidacy if Navalny is allowed to, uh, to run. Uh, you know, I feel awful beating up on you, but how, how are you going to take this? First of all, uh, this uh, saying by Navalny was uh, done before I went uh, to challenge Putin on those elections. Now, when he knows the concept and he knows that I officially said that uh, I will withdraw my candidacy if he will be allowed uh, to go, I think this will change the whole game. But we should have a backup option. Uh, I spoke with Navalny, and I hope he will agree with me that if he won't be uh, allowed to go to the elections, which I think he should be allowed, and I will be really fighting for this, but if no, what is our second option? Just stay at home and don't go to the election. It's not an option. This will show nothing to Kremlin. This will uh, change nothing. But we do remember how elections, for example, in Pinochet's case, changed the situation. Because if many people go out and vote against, this can really bring change to our country, which we really need.